to my channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and become a member of the Wandering Dreamers. Today, I decided to film a video describing my first week at college. Yay! Do I have confetti? I don't know. Do I? Some kind of celebratory noise? I finished my first week at college and it was fantastic. Honestly, I had so much fun. It was only two days, Tuesday and Thursday. And um, the first day, it was kind of nerve wracking because I didn't, I'd never been in a college before, period. Like I had never set foot in a college. And so um, I found my way there very easily. It was pretty straightforward from where I live. It's about a 40 minute drive for me. It took me a little while to kind of figure out how the whole parking worked because they have special lots for visitors and for students and stuff like that. So I had to figure that out. And then um, it came to the process of going into the building and finding my class. And it's a pretty big college. And having never been in a college before, I was pretty freaked, not freaked, but I was pretty nervous that I wasn't gonna be able to find my class. I gave myself enough time that I wouldn't be late, just as luck would have it too. As I went to the front desk, I was prepared to ask them where I could find it. Um, there was actually two other girls looking for the same class as me. So I tagged along with them, introduced myself and stuff like that. And then all three of us ended up uh, finding the class together and it was great. Made some acquaintances right away, which is always nice. So yeah, it was really great. Um, and the first class, I feel like it was, you know, people were kind of new. I mean, you know, other girls there um, went to that college and stuff like that and had gone to other classes before, but still it's a new environment, different people, you don't know everybody. So it was kind of like, it was a bit more quiet, I guess. But when it came up to the second class, it was a lot more outgoing. Um, that also probably had to do with our instructor made us do a breaking the ice activity where we had to draw little pictures of uh, things about our personal lives that we wanted to share with the class so that everyone got to know each other a little bit better. For our first class, it was really short. It was only about, I would say an hour and a half. It was from six till 7.30, roughly. And our instructor just kind of went over what we could expect for the class, kind of like, um, uh, the class layout kind of like when the tests were and what exactly we'd be studying and when and what weeks we'd be studying what things and things like that <coughs> <coughs> Ooh, I should have grabbed some water our class comes with an ad, like a makeup kit that we paid for as part of our tuition that is included with the class and unfortunately we don't get that until probably next week because they kind of had to figure out how many students were in the class before they ordered the makeup kit so that they wouldn't have too many extra and things like that. So um, yesterday, which was Thursday, we were supposed to do like a kit setup, kind of going through everything. But because makeup kits weren't there, um, our instructor went into pretty like into really good detail about like proper sanitization and professionalism in the professional field of makeup artistry. So it was really cool. Um, I learned a lot and I realized that a lot of my makeup I shouldn't be using because of the age that it is. It was really interesting. Uh, she showed a video of um, the kind of bacteria that can live on your products and things like that if you don't clean them properly or um, dispose of them and get new every so often. Like mascara, you're supposed to switch up every three months. Other products, it was longer, like a year to two years, but still. I had some products that I went through after I got home last night. Um, that I had had for like close to four years. So I was like, okay, this needs to go. And plus I hadn't used it in a long time anyway. So why should I keep it if I don't end up in using it anyway? And um, I've learned a lot from the time that I bought makeup like years ago. So um, it was really informative and I really enjoyed yesterday's class. Plus getting to know the girls in the class better was a big bonus. Like I, I uh, realized a lot of the girls had similar interests that I did. Um, some of them have kids, some of them are from different countries, and it was really interesting to learn about the different personalities. There's about, I would say, 14, 15 girls in there. Um, I feel like that's the number that's in there. 10, between 10 and 15 for sure. And yeah, it was really cool. So, so far, my impression of college is fantastic. I am so looking forward to learning more and to do more with makeup and to get more into the professional field of things. Makeup is one of the things that I've enjoyed for a very long time. And I know a lot of people in my life um, that won't agree with me pursuing this dream. They might think that um, it's a waste of time or it's not a good 
investment or whatever uh, but it's something that I love doing and I feel that I can really inspire and make an influence in that particular community so um, thank you so much to people out there who have been supporting me so far it means the world to me and I cannot wait to see where this will take me I mean it's a whole new world of possibilities so I am so excited our makeup instructor recommended that we create a makeup Instagram page to kind of post our progress and to follow certain makeup artists because in some of our projects we will be expected to do some trendy looks. We have to be on top of the trends that are happening in the makeup community. So I will put the link to my makeup Instagram page in the description box below and I will put the username somewhere around here too. It's lindafast.mua, and MUA stands for makeup artist. Definitely wouldn't call myself a professional yet, but I am learning and it's something I've been doing for a while, so I have some looks that I've saved in my phone and things that I'll be posting, and then you guys will be able to see the quality of my content will be better. I'm not sure if I'll keep the page forever, depending on how successful I get in it or whatever, maybe I'll just merge it eventually with my personal Instagram account, but we'll see. Um, I like to keep like a theme going for my personal account so I don't know if if I would be able to do that if I added the makeup stuff or whatever but anyway you guys can follow my makeup account for now if you would like but yeah that's it for my college diary week one um, I'm hoping I'll do these videos at the end of every college week to kind of give you guys an update because I know a lot of you are wondering how my college experience is going and I can't like text each one of you telling you the exact same story over and over again because I really don't like doing that. Um, I like saying something once and that's it. So if the video is here, you guys can watch it over and over again if you want. And uh, for those of you who are considering college, I would definitely recommend going for it. Um, I didn't expect to enjoy it this much and it's only the first week. So I'm sure, you know, there's going to be tougher times or whatever, but our instructor is so nice and um, the girls that are in the class are super nice and I'm just having a great time. So um, just get out there and take that leap if you want to because it will definitely be worth it. Tisco, do you want to say bye? Do you want to say bye? You haven't been in a video in a while. Yeah. Say hi, Zico. Bye. <laughs> My little monster. Yeah. Yeah. But that's it for now. Other than that, never stop dreaming or shooting for the stars. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.